Hi everybody, after making video about the ancient electricity, I got some feedback, so I wanted to explain myself more clearly, so, uh, and I found this uh, article about the electrostatic of uh, ancient uh, cathedrals, so, uh, and we also have this uh, video about the electrostatics. And uh, let's check it out. So let's see. He was doing something to make some electricity charge. Let's see. When he charges his hair, it becomes static. And you see his hair uh, is spreading. Okay, so that's what I was I was going to show. That's how his hair was looking le like. And when you see a kid uh, through uh, coming through this uh, kid stuff, uh, his hair might get static too. And uh, I even had some anti anti electrostatic thing in my house. When you like spray it, uh, you don't get this electric static thing. So this guy in this article, he he thinks that that's why women who obviously have long hair uh, have to cover the hair in the in the church uh, because. Uh, they might get static and um, this guy even has you know this lightning thing here in his hand and he can you know, like point his finger and has this lightning strike to uh, shut down the candlelight so we have the, this uh, thing under Neath uh, the uh, top of the church, and this might get some electrostatic from this atmosphere electricity, the effect that I've shown in this in this video of mine, and uh, it may charge those who stand beneath this thing. Okay, um, let's see. This is the effect. The actual effect of it so this thing on the top charges charges with this plasma atmospheric electricity whatever whatever you call it it has a charge and it's patented in the, in some uh, patent bureau and it has an invention number and um, those details are simply the spike of the church and this is like the string or the cable which actually gives away the electricity so this is the grounding cable number nine and guess what we had this type of things hanging around uh, one of the uh, cathedrals in uh, Cairo in the period of 1842-1852 this is the actual picture Look at this. And that's another thing from one of the modern churches. And, and it, it's actually not a church, it's a mosque. Look at this. And I always guessed why did they have a uh, metal flooring in, uh, in ancient times, which is pretty expensive to do metal floors in church. And this thing here, this bar, is actually some uh, compensation for electric charge, I think. And this is the grounding, uh, the grounding of electric charge. Look at this metal floors. Okay, and it even has some light, light thing, like electricity or something like that, charge like. Maybe it looks like that. This one is from uh, uh, St. Basil Cathedral on the uh, Red Square. 
Okay, and uh, what else? We also have this uh, tribal electric uh, thing uh, called Micros 102. It has uh, the same effect of uh, like this thing. Maybe you've heard about it something. When you press or push or, or touch something, electricity comes out and uh, we have this effect. Look at this. So uh, actual the, the, the effect here is the air which touches this uh, metal thing and it connects to it with this tension or something like that and we have this metal of uh, metal uh, collecting positive uh, charge and uh, such effect occurs like they say in this video and so they made all those surfaces to collect this electricity type uh, type of thing so today our best can be 10,000 volts that is pretty amazing that we connect this thing which ancient people used in every church okay this is definitely the awakening of uh, today's era uh, we have a new era and we have this atmospheric effect of electricity which can be used uh, despite all this oil uh, mafia that we have all around the world and I actually have explanation of why they collect in oil uh, because we have underground mining uh, all over the world we have signs of uh, mining activity on the sea uh, we have uh, let's see signs of mining activity uh, in every in every like every major island and stuff like that look at this this is all everything was mined away this is a huge quarry and if you look to uh, like Mariana and near Guam you're gonna find out many different things I'm not gonna show you all those things today because it's pretty useless to do you, you can do your own research watch this Google Maps uh, close to the Guam Island and you're gonna find different things all around it like those traces huge traces of some machinery and stuff like that so we have it all around the Mexican Bay all around Haiti and stuff like that so that proves that we have uh, deep sea uh, bottom mining and we have this uh, underground mining may have if we have this deep sea mining we, ha we might have underground mining and uh, the uh, by byproduct of this underground mining is oil which can be dropped with the sand with the sense rather excavation uh, traces have you see in this is amazing and we have traces of this mining everywhere and guess what they do they get all this sand with oil sand so-called oil sand and drop it over here and that's why Venezuela and all this you know, uh, shoreline of Venezuela has a bunch of um, oil sands, so-called oil sands of Venezuela. If you Google this stuff, you're gonna find it uh, all around in Venezuela. Oil sands of Venezuela. So, okay, my point is that the oil is the byproduct of uh, sea mining 
and that's why we have it in Mexican Bay, in Gulf of Mexico, uh, we have it like everywhere. And that's why Saudi Arabia has so many oil which is not very deep on the ground because it got dropped with all this oil sand here and that's why oil is so easy to um, to mine in Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Libya and so on. So this is all the byproduct of someone's mining and uh, maybe even our mining that we had in like 300 400 years ago and uh, for some reason it got out of control maybe we had such civilization as we have today which is a parasite civilization which actually takes everything and gives nothing and that's why we have so many deserts now because everywhere uh, some people get the power to uh, do something to rule the world they do something like this and you don't have to blame masonry you don't have to blame illuminatis you don't have to blame someone else maybe it's our fault because we got into this we help those who lead us we don't think about the future that's what we do today we don't think about the future and uh, but we have some good things coming and um, it's gonna reveal one page after another one step after another uh, first step is already made and uh, I'm not gonna repeat it every time but you're gonna see it pretty soon because uh, people start to realize start to look at the things with some other way and start to understand what's going on watch my videos subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm gonna bring you more interesting information and ask me questions in comments most of you do but uh, some of you guys still uh, just pass this away don't ask stuff and uh, I'm, I, I welcome you to ask questions and uh, write me comments in all those Facebook groups that are posted and um, on my channel of course under each video so see you later bye